you feel this like in your stomach? I feel it in my brain, bro. <laughs> 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 Hey, what's going on, everyone? I am Jack Kelleher, 8 Beat alum, and we are live from Rochester, New York, and you're watching Hot Ones. It's a show with hot questions and even hotter wings. And today we are joined by 8 Beat Measure, fresh off celebrating their 35th anniversary. They are here to promote their upcoming album. How's it going, everyone? Good. Good. Yeah, there we go. All right. Who's, who's excited about today's challenge? Ooh, nah, I'm I'm flaking in my boots. It's gonna be easy. Okay, <laughs> all right. A little mixed bag there. Anyone? 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 Like, well, like David's scared as shit. <laughs> I got it all. Okay. The man's honest. You got it all right. <laughs> so the format's pretty familiar. Um, today we're gonna change it up because obviously we have a large group here. Um, so everyone uh, will be participating uh, at the end on the last dab, but just a few select few of you will be in the hot seat for each wing. Um, and also, um, we're gonna do a little wager here, a little friendly wager. John Aslanis, uh, the president, is behind the camera over there. <laughs> um, so John, I'm gonna have you write down over here. I'm gonna have you write down two names. Uh, one person who you guarantee will finish the whole challenge, and one person who you guarantee will not make it to the end. And Ooh. if you are correct, I will donate $150 to the end. And if you're not, you have to owe me. <laughs> not getting reimbursed. Well, I'll be, yeah. bro. <laughs> so, at your convenience. We'll start first with our first wing here. Um, we got Anjan, Logan, and David. All right, so we're here with Logan, Anjan, and David. Troy, our resident chef, is serving up our first wing here. This is the Hot One's own buffalo hot sauce. Looking forward to this one, definitely. This one looks pretty chill. <laughs> Yeah, hoping hoping number one is chill. It's yeah, not yeah. a problem. Oh, I got the fuck. I don't um, take this one. I don't know. So I don't know if you figured it out yet, but you three are here because you three went skydiving for AP. Right. Uh, um, so I, I think the question on everyone's mind is, how the hell was skydiving the first reward? <laughs> it uh, it was John's idea. Oh, wait, hold no. on. I'm gonna have to cut in there. That was my idea. I took <laughs> Oh first. my god. Oh. And I think John really just thought it was such a great idea that he just he just took no, it. No, John actually trademarked that idea. Yeah. So. No, I, I saw I was in the office with him when he got the lawyer and everything. He yeah. got the copyright. All right. Yeah. A hundred dollars. A hundred dollars. So you guys knew that was gonna happen regardless. Yeah. I well, so. I mean, yeah. I think the reason it was the first award is because we just wanted to skydive. We were kind of just looking for an excuse yeah. <laughs> to jump out of the plane. Gotcha. So. So I'm looking at a picture here of all the uh, all the different tiers of rewards. So we got the Hot Ones Challenge, which we're doing now. Yep. AP dyes their hair. Um, I know some of you have done like the concert in the Infinity Quad. Mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to the Polar Plunge. I don't know if you guys are. Oh, yeah. I can't wait to see you do that. Mm -hmm. And then the 24 hour rehearsal would be really rough. So <laughs> so I don't know if you want to go down the line and just like which one are you looking forward to the most or dreading the most? Camping in the SAU, I think, is going to be. If we can pull that off, that's, we get that's what I was going to say. Cool. Yeah. Like an overnight oh, camping, is that the yeah. plan? Yeah. yeah. Like, I have a hammock I could bring. Like, oh, yeah. that up somewhere. Slack lining. Yeah, the whole yeah. Thing. Sure, yeah. yeah. I'm not looking forward to the pacer test. I was always uh, <laughs> not that good, you that's know what I'm saying? That's true. If I we do the sit ups, though, Ooh. crazy. I'll go 100, 150, 175. Dang. Dang. <laughs> Why'd you say banana costumes? Ooh. Oh, I didn't see that one. That'll see. Oh so, dang, that's a good I one. I, I honestly, I'm not, I'm not really sure about uh, the time, the timeline of that. I think I might actually, <laughs> if if we could like get that to be just like a full week of you guys wanting a full week, a full week. Full that's week. Crazy. Yeah, I think, the, even... I think, I think, <laughs> or banana costumes at Chill Beats. Just yeah, the whole exactly. time. And I know. think, I think a full ten thousand. Like I think, I think it's honestly worth that, uh, that kind of timeline. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Not so I think we should probably dig into our wing here. Yeah. Sure. I mean. Oh man. Oh man. No, no, you gotta. You gotta push it. You gotta. Mm. It's pretty good. It's pretty tasty. Oh, Not yeah. much heat. Mm. Whoa. Anjan has destroyed That's his. That's pretty good. That was kind of scary. We got 20 more pounds. Don't worry. Mm. I mean, I don't know, man. Number one. A little, little, little heat in there. That's a little, what I'm little, little that bit was like heat. a kick. Though. Yeah. But I mean, it's delicious. I'm having that breakfast. Oh, really good actually. Yeah, it's a nothing. fine breakfast. Mm -hmm. Move on to wing two when our uh, when Troy brings out the next ones. Oh, troll. Wing two is uh, Hassani, Matt, and Jack. All right, for wing number two, we got uh, Smokey J from Sam Saw House. Thank you, Troy. Um, I'm joined here by Hassani, Jack, and Matt, and we're gonna talk acapella stereotypes. Um, so, obviously, there's a bunch like being in acapella for a while. You know, 
um, everyone, you know, you tell your friends about it back home and they have this preconceived notion of what, what acapella is in college. Uh, Pitch Perfect obviously is responsible for a lot of that. Um, but even shows like The Office where they, they parody and spoof like, you know, Andy's acapella group and make them seem like a bunch of nerds, which we are not. Um, and I even actually remember listening to a podcast where they were like debating the merits of if acapella could be considered a cult. Um, so I think from the outside, a lot of people don't really know what's going on. So uh, I was just going like, to go down the line here. And if you have any ideas of like what is definitely true about the acapella stereotypes and Hassani, you've been in two groups at RIT. So maybe you have some insight and what is definitely like untrue, like the weirdest thing you've heard. Um, cult takes the cake for sure. That's <laughs> um, but in, in both groups, like we do, just like randomly burst out in the song. That is that is genuinely something that happens. I think it's really fun. Um, but yeah, cult. I don't, why cult? That's crazy to me. <laughs> yeah, it was all based on like the learned experience of like one of the host's boyfriends, and so it was very anecdotal. <laughs> and like none of it really resonated with me personally. They were saying like if you get into one group, you can never join another on campus, and there's like secret stuff that you can't talk about ever, like behind lock and key. I don't know, Jack. What about you? Um, well, I think. Oh, hold on. Yes, oh. I know this wing is really good. This, this is, good. is honestly wow. like. Yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna note this for later. This is so tasty. Mmm, <laughs> that's so good. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. I hope we have to re-record this one. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Um, no, it's funny because um, I'll be talking to my friends about you know my day, and my day consists of acapella things sometimes. Um, and, better. <laughs> yeah, and. Um, I'll be talking to them and I like have to stop myself because it sounds like I'm explaining the plot to a Hallmark movie about acapella <laughs> or like the, the Pitch Perfect film. It's like, I just have to stop myself. It's too embarrassing. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I can say, you know, it's not like Pitch Perfect, but it sounds like Pitch Perfect. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Matt, what about you? Uh, I would say for me, a lot of the conversation I, conversations that I've heard have been like kind of like people consider uh, college acapella like the high school like the college version of like theater kids in high yeah. school how like it's just mostly consisted of obsessive people like of like of music and stuff I would say uh, uh, there's more people that are considered on the normal scale of like <laughs> people in college that are just wanting to hang out with friends and like just be around people like that like music and all that. Yeah, I think it's, it's totally, it's just like finding where you belong. Yeah. And my experience at RIT was really great with that, but obviously, you know, with you guys in 8 Beat. Um, so what do we think of the wing, Matt? It was good. Tasty? Yeah. This yeah. is delicious. Pretty <laughs> easy, but for me, like, I, I think it's easier than number one, honestly. I suck at really eating well. wings. <laughs> <laughs> we won't, don't, don't close up on him. Don't say that. <laughs> He's already <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there we go. Also, definitely the, because uh, I know in Pitch Perfect, there's the, um, like the sing off at the end. I was like, that's not a thing. The riff I, off. I wish the riff off. The riff off. Hold on, give us twenty minutes to arrange this. <laughs> exactly. But. All right, good job on number two. And number three. Woo. We're we're uh, number three we have Jacob and Alec. All right, I'm joined here by Jacob and Alec. Thank you guys very much. We're on wing number three from uh from funky from funkies. This is Stellar Fuzz. I'm actually really excited about this one. I always like the the freaky, like unique ones with cool names um, that also are not very hot. Um so I'm going to start here with Jacob. My first question for Jacob. So obviously soloists in acapella are extremely important. Yeah, we should take a, a bite into this wing here. Okay. Yeah, it's like really, really sweet. It's really what I was expecting. Go ahead. Yeah, no, definitely. I wouldn't put this at three. Maybe. I don't know. There's some heat coming on. But so let's go back to the question. Uh, soloists are super important. Um, it's really your job to like tune in the audience to like the, the performance and a lot of the times you know it's you're the only person that people focus on um, you've had a couple solos I know at last chill beats you had I think three or four uh, make it better was one of them extremely talented soloist so my question to you was what is your dream song to so solo on if you could pick any AP, like any song for AP to cover and you solo on it mm, that's a good question uh, dream song you know, honestly, my dream song would be one of the songs that I make. Uh, <laughs> oh, for you know, real? I might arrange a song one of these days. That's like, because I have a Spotify. So I might make a song one of these days and just pitch it to the group. And if they like it, that would be my dream song. Because what's a perfect solo is besides a person that sung the song. Yeah. Right? No, definitely. But I don't know if that's going to happen. But yeah, that would be cool. <laughs> and what are your thoughts on this, Wayne? 
Uh, it's, it's it's really good. <laughs> yeah, there's like more heat on the back end than I thought. Kind of. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's lingering a little bit. But I like the flavor a lot. Yeah. So Alec, my question for you. Sure. Um, in my in my research for these questions, I you might have noticed I request a lot of you on social media. I do like you, but I do need to do my job here. Alec, I requested like a couple weeks or months ago, and I'm still still pending. Um, so we'll talk about that later. But oh. I did notice, I did notice that you also have an Instagram alter ego called the Canisius Lake Fisherman. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. And I don't know if the group knows about this, but do you want to tell us a little bit about about the Canisius Lake f- uh, Fisherman? Sure. So um, my parents, about five or six years ago, uh, got a house on Canisius Lake, which is one of the Finger Lakes. It's about thirty minutes from here, um, and took up uh, a great passion for for fishing Um, and I guess you know every now and then if I reel something in that's like worth posting I'll you know put it on my Canisius Lake Fisherman that's great account yeah I love that would you prefer to do this with like fish fillets instead of wings then oh I mean you know I I have you know eaten what I've caught before so you know love that it's pretty good Um, so my question for you based uh, based on that is if this upcoming 8-beat album was a fish what type of fish would it be? Hmm. Probably a tiger musky. A tiger musky. Yes. So the reason I say that is um, it's like, so the tiger musky is like a very rare fish. Um, it's kind of between um, like a musky and like a, a northern a tiger. Pike. Right. I mean, and so the reason they call it a tiger musky is because of the lines that it has on, mm. on its uh, on its scales. Um, so I think kind of like the uniqueness that this album is going to bring to, um, I guess to Spotify, right. To our <laughs> listeners, I think is best represented by a tiger musky. Oh, great. That's a really interesting answer. I love the passion. I try. <laughs> yeah. All right. That was wing. That was wing three. I like that a lot. I don't know. I think that's my favorite so far, but we're going to move on to wing four. Thank you both. Wing four is Alec, Quincy and Cameron. So you can stay seated oh, shit. and Quincy and Cameron can join us. Right, wing number four. Thanks again, Troy. Um, we got in order. We got Cameron, Alec, and Quincy. Thank you very much. Um, we have the Los Calientes Verde from Hot Ones. And fun fact, I don't know if First We Feast is going to cancel us for this, but this sauce, even though it says heatness on it, is actually made in Rochester by uh, Karma Sauce. And so, give me some. Give me extra sauce. Thank, thank you. <laughs> thank you. A little bit of local pride there. Um, but anyway, so question four. Uh, we're going to go down the line again. So, Cameron, you've been in the group for a semester now, so your second semester. Um, in short, what does 8-beat mean to you? What has your experience been so far? Honestly, if I had to just describe 8-beat in one word, I think I'd say probably unity. Like, it, we're, we're, all, we're all really like brothers here. Like, it's, it, it's, it's, nothing, it's like nothing I've ever experienced. Like, even, be, even doing like singing for, I'd say like, I think six years now before, before 8-beat, nothing's been even comparable to this. Like, it's, it's a genuine passion and like, a lot of us share uh, share common interests, so like all of us are friends, and we do wow. stuff we do stuff beyond yeah. acapella that, that like really like tightens the uh, the bond. Totally, that was an incredible answer. Uh, <laughs> why don't we in unison eat this wing? Sure. Um, this is a green no, chili. <laughs> Damn. Tastes good. Thank you, Troy, for the extra sauce. Um, no, that was a great answer, and you know, obviously. Being an alum, I, I totally, that re- answer resonates with me. I have the same experience, and I'm glad, you know, almost 10 years later, people are doing the same thing. Alex, so as a third year, now, what would you add to that? You can't say unison. You can't say unity. I'd say passionate. I think that's um, a pretty, I guess, common answer, but I think it really represents everyone that's in this group. Um, you know, four rehearsals a week, two hours, you know. And, yeah, it's a commitment for sure. Yeah, you know, being super dedicated to, you know, this unified, you know, unified <laughs> passion that we all have of singing. Um, this is actually my last <clears throat> semester um, with the group. Oh, I'm, gotcha! I'm graduating this spring. Um, very unfortunate. Um, well, I'm, I mean, congratulations, but also unfortunate congratulations. Answers. Yeah, but yeah. yeah. Um, I'm also really gonna miss the group because of how passionate everyone is about um, singing. Yeah, we always used to say that it's like it's a little different from a fraternity, and don't at me about that shit. <laughs> Um, but like there's a shared purpose and like you're you know it's not just like people looking for something to do and like, oh, I'll join this fraternity like we all love making music and love making it together and want to be you know want to make an album or want to sound the best we can or want to you know have a lot of fun and and joining together to do that is, is really um, 
what drives you to, to, you know, go to those four rehearsals a week plus performances plus, you know, learning your part outside Absolutely. if you do that. Quincy, so this is your fifth year. You've done a lot of things in the group. You've been the president. You've done ICCAs, correct? And now you're recording an album. So hearing these two answers with Alec on the tail end of his AP career and Cameron on the beginning, um, like you want to just reflect on their answers and how, how, how AP makes you feel? Yeah, no, I agree with everything that they said. Um, you know, <clears throat> coming into the group as like a first year, um, it felt like everyone was super passionate. Everyone had like the same goal. And, uh, you know, that's that's at least like what I felt like, you know, I'm like if I want to join an acapella group, I want to join like guys who also want to go after something. And I guess that's something I was really looking for. Um, but also like with the brotherhood and um, being able to like, you know, have people that you can always come to and talk to and all that. Um, I've been able to like see so many guys come in the group and then leave the group and stuff. So, <laughs> yeah, it's been a lot and it's been a great experience. Um, so I guess lucky for me, I get one extra year. So yeah, I, I get uh, the sixth year now. So That's great. That'll be great. But um, it's almost a new record for someone who graduates. Looking at you, Rick. Um, I think Scott, Scott might have the record. <laughs> really? I'm tied. Tied for the record. Okay, we gotta Sounds keep the official right. tally. <laughs> keep the official tally. But that, yeah, that's great. And and obviously with the 35th anniversary concert we just had, and there was you know like 30 or 40 alum there, mm-hmm. you know it's it's meant the same thing for or, or a similar thing for a lot of people. And you know, it's great to see um, to look back and see it, you know it's still doing that, serving that function for mm-hmm. the for the new people, for the old people, and for people who are very old like myself and others. <laughs> um, cool. So that what do you guys think of the wing? Honestly, I it didn't I didn't taste anything. That was like, it you didn't taste so anything. I, t- I tasted so the chicken, easy. but like, okay. uh, so I mean, it's not COVID. I think it's more like it seems like it's like a, it's like a reaction kind of thing. Like, I, like I'm having like now that I'm having like now it's like nobody like in in my body. Like it's like now my body's responding to it. Like I, I feel the heat now rather than while I was eating it. I don't know. It's weird. I don't understand that. <laughs> I thought it was less spicy than the previous one. Yeah, because you were just here for three. Yeah, no, it's a little. It's like sweeter. Definitely not as sweet as three. Right. Um, I don't know if four, if four is correct. You know, they they talk about creating this like up and down, this like symphony of heat and whatever. And maybe that maybe that's what we're tasting. But I'm a little bit scared. Of what's to come, yeah. Quincy? What about you? Oh, I thought it was great. I loved it. Yeah, it was definitely tasty. Yeah. Definitely tasty. Be good with eggs or something like that. <laughs> um, all right. So wing five, wing five. We got Hassani, Cameron again, David, and Troy. All right, wing five, halfway through. How are we feeling, folks? I'm chilling. Decent? I mean, I, I've yeah. been doing them in the background. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah a this bit. one looks really tasty. This one looks really good. I'm joined here by, uh, in order again, Cameron, I think that's Troy, uh, oh, no, Hassani, no. Hassani, and David. And we are doing, uh, from Good Heat, queso sin queso. I don't speak Spanish, but I know enough. That means cheese without cheese. So I'm definitely interested to see what this tastes like. I love cheese. So why don't we, like cheese. I love cheese. Yeah. Why don't we dip into this one? Yeah. Oh, no. oh, that's so good. Oh, wow. Man, whoever mm. cooked these wings, oh, they did so good. They did fine. I think that their name is Troy. That's crazy. Oh. Definitely finishing that one. All right, so. Eh, it wasn't that good. <laughs> <laughs> this is a segment we here at Hot Ones like to call Explain That Gram, where we take a picture from our guest's social media and ask them to explain it. So good. I'm gonna have Hassani go first, and this is a picture I grabbed from your Instagram. Thank oh you Christ! For, thank you for accepting my follow request. No problem, <laughs> Alec. Uh, and it's it's a picture of Hassani in ah. a Spider-Man hoodie, and the caption is, "Can someone tell me if spiders can get corona?" <laughs> I don't know if you want to take a peek at that. Yeah, no, I remember. I want to so take what, a peek at that. So what was um, you wanted to let us know what was going on in your brain yeah, there? Was so it a lockdown was, psychosis or what's going on? <laughs> uh, this was the end of my senior year, which was like right at the height of corona and I, this is like the first time i went outside <clears throat> since like march we just went everything started. yeah so i had this hoodie i had the white sneakers i had like the pants the blue mask and everything and like we me and my siblings were bark, barking around and i like literally stopped at this tree i was like hold on and i gave my sister my phone and i was just like you know what to do because she <laughs> loves taking pictures so i was just i just like posed up and then the po- the caption I just thought of later. I don't know. I was bored. <laughs> no, yeah, it's it's I was, the pose is spot on. You're doing great. You. I was 18 and had nothing to do. <laughs> what does everyone think of the wing? Good. It was really good. Um, yeah, was wait. The, yeah. the kick is like later. Yeah. In the um, beginning, there was nothing. Yeah. Nah, it's, I, I, I don't know. 
So I think I recognize. I think I recognize David's face that he's making now from this wing. From this. Oh my god! From this. Oh, yeah. This one I grabbed right from Apeet's Facebook. Um, I don't really have like a detailed question. I just like kind of what is going on here. I don't know if you guys want to explain. So yeah, um, we are at a. I always forget the name of the place. Swilberg. The, uh, yeah, yeah Swilberg. Yeah, yeah. Um, for a snap or something like that, and then David came behind me and then oh, and then what? made that face. That's yeah. A, yeah, indeed. Yeah. You were you started out by making that face. Yeah. And, and then, then David and then had to join in. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, uh, <laughs> this is great. Uh, there was my, something. My there was something out. right over his shoulder that I guess I really needed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it must have been a burger. An something. arcade game or something. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I was probably hella excited or something. I'm sure. Oh well, I'll check your face after the last dab, <laughs> and we'll yeah. see if I it matches. Uh, exactly the same. Yeah. Yep. All right. Well, thank you for that context. It was I couldn't figure out what was going on there. Cameron, your Snapchats are crazy. Um, like, yeah. Okay. And the last one is for Troy. Um, this is the one I grabbed for Troy. Oh my God. You? Um, oh, that is me. That and is me. First, just want to say, love the fit. Uh huh. Love the fit. Drip goes crazy, as your generation might say. On fleek, as my generation might say. Um, who are you wearing here? And where where, where oh, happened to this Troy? I think I'm wearing champion. Um, champion. Yeah. yeah. So eighth grade. That's our. Uh, our, man, I don't even need to. I don't need to hold it. Um, but I don't see it. this is the, <laughs> our eighth grade Washington D.C. trip. I think this is the, um, the Theodore Roosevelt Memorial, um, and there's like a waterfall. I don't remember exactly if that's the memorial, but I did track that year. I hated it, yeah, but I was like, I gotta get the sweatshirt. And um, as for the rest of the fit, it was like June, May, so like needed to wear the shorts. Got the water bottle in the pocket. I mean, you stay hydrated. Very economical. Um, yeah. Yeah, and I still was not comfortable to smile with my teeth, but like the sunglasses, I I just hate taking pictures. But for whatever reason, I told somebody to take a picture of me, and I your parents or something maybe. Maybe <laughs> where did you find this? <laughs> like, I don't know where this was. A magician never reveals a secret. Because like I I curated my Instagram like four years ago and got rid of everything like pre high school. He broke into your house. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, like your parents sent me that photo. There's no shot. There, I don't know if they have that photo. Mm, well, also, I do. my parents' names then. Yeah, so next <laughs> ring, ring number six, and it is the leadership council. So, Troy, you can stay seated. We got John and Anjan also cool. joining us. All right, we are over the hump here. Thank you, Quincy. Wing six from Cantina Royal. This is the Bourbon Maple Reaper. It sounds scary. It looks way too dark for my liking. I'm not excited for this one. It uh, smells scary, bro. Yeah, I'm not... <laughs> I put a lot of sauce Lord. on um, I'm already, I'm feeling it too. I'm, a little, I'm sweating. We'll get a close up <laughs> later. I'm joined by APH Leadership Council. And what that means is I have the president here, which is John, the business manager on John, and the music director, Troy. Thank you so much for joining us on wing number six. Let's dig in. Oh, God. Jesus. Light work. Yeah. I already know. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> You better store that. Oh, that's, that's easy. It's all mental. Dude, I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> John's face. Yeah, John's face, so bro. How's your mental going? Yeah, how's no, that? it's going it's, great. It's all mental. All right. That sauce is delicious. It's a good sauce for now. So, on John, I'll go down the line here. Um, what's the album status? Where are we at right now? Are we recording? Are we song selection? What are we doing? We are still fundraising. <laughs> <laughs> so, song selection. Yeah. <laughs> no, we have, a, we have all the songs. We have multiple oh, okay. songs. Yeah. Uh, we just got to figure out like some of the logistics of like all the songs, especially like, I guess legality, uh, and copyright maybe. Yeah. Yeah. There's one song that like it's a mashup of a couple songs. We need to get like specific permission from the um, publishers, um, but we're waiting on that for right now. I'm trying to listen, but it's it's hot. But it's <laughs> not. It's light work. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I've been in the trenches, so. Um. I there, have it. <laughs> are, there, are there any songs you can like? Pre-clearing them with the copyright or whatever, you can let us know that they're on there already. Any fan favorites? I think a, a fan favorite we've got um, it's from our ICCA set, oh. um, soloed by one of our leadership council here. Troy, would you like to? Oh, darn. Would you like to do the? I, mean, I don't know which song you're talking about. Future right? Car winner. I mean, Troy, why don't you explain to us like the musical inspiration and like themes behind the album? Yeah. So the theme we've been kind of going for is songs are like directed at the listener, where like they play a lot with like the second person. So, um, the song he was referring to was Come Back For Me from my ICC set that I do solo. Um, pending like, legal clearance. Pending legal clearance, of course. Um, not officially on the track list, but officially on the track list at the same time. Um, my lips are burning a little bit. 
both. Yeah, same. Um, but uh, yeah, so it, it's like the whole theme of that song is like, don't you come back for me. Like, leave me alone. You get out of my life. And there's like other songs that are happier. Um, there's Masterpiece by Tori Kelly. Mm-hmm. Um, and that one's <laughs> like, uh, you're my masterpiece. Aren't you my masterpiece? And it's amazing. And a lot of the songs have that second person kind of feel to them. Gotcha. So it's kind of like taking the the listener on like an emotional journey. Yeah. Where they can listen to the lyrics, listen to the arrangements, and like feel part of the what you're trying to get across. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, ne- the next question on this card is for you, John. Okay. I think it's good timing. Um, yeah. How is this album going to be different? Um, both like emotionally, sonically, whatever you from from the albums that Eight Beats already released. So we had Polarized um, two albums ago. Identity was the most recent album. Some older ones. Yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> I, I definitely think um, this album is definitely going to have um, some. I mean, there's always been interesting like arrangements in the past, but I think this we're going to be having um, kind of a wide uh, variety of things. We have some that are professionally done. We have some who are completed by alumni, some who are done by, again, our beautiful MD here, mm. you know. Um, ooh, I agree. <laughs> um, and we're going to have, uh, we have some amazing um, VP, especially on this album, uh, with Hassani um, coming in and popping up again. The MD Troy, <laughs> keep having to, to hype him up. Um, with this album, um, we've kind of, like dived into a genre that we haven't really explored before you know we're doing some r&b um and we're definitely doing some um you know some songs that are more touchy feely um sorry something is hopefully going to make the um the listener kind of experience something that they haven't really felt before from some of the other albums you know my tongue's numb (laughs) it's uh i'm looking forward to i'm also looking forward to you doing weight number eight Oh yeah, uh, oh, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. All right, so so before we wrap up here, I think I think my final verdict on that wing is like it was good taste. My lips are definitely like tingling for sure, but I like its flavor a lot. Yeah, got the bourbon, the maple in there. I don't know what Reaper tastes like, but I liked it a lot. Uh, the barbecue flavor like really shined through. So, yeah. yeah, it was just a light tickle. You know what I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we'll see. Extremely we'll, light. We'll, <laughs> we'll come back for you mm. and your opinion. Mm. Uh, later, um, but all, right before we go with the leadership council, do we have any names floating around? Do we have a name picked out? Do we have names that are like rejected already? There's a name I like, but it's it's not been approved. It's yeah, been all about voted. Troy. We can't do that. Yeah, that's not the name. All right, that's not. Do I do I say that? Yeah, you can say it. I'll say mine too. All right. <laughs> I know yours. Um, the one that I proposed because um, like I brought up the theme that kind of tied the songs all together. That like everybody. I was like, yeah, it's a good idea. We kind of went with it. That sounds really self-inflating. I'm not not trying to. Um, but the name would be potentially. Call, I would want to call it. It's about you, because like I said, the songs are directed at the listener. So making the title that will really uh, just make them feel that experience. I'm trying to think about the words. But Do you have a you in mind, like a, like a Carly Simon? Like, bet you think the song is about you. I mean, the song I solo. I don't want to mention who I think about because that would be rude. Because it's like. Kind of mean. Dang, dang. Um, but just know but, if you're out there, Troy's yeah, singing about you. And, and not a positive And way. not a positive one. Um, but, but yeah. John, what was your name? Uh, you know, well, well, Troy is on this really deep symbolic level um, with his album title. You know, I'm I'm just in it for the eight beat variety pack. You know what <laughs> That's I mean? What you want the album? Yeah, I want it. I want it to feel and have the aesthetic of like a Jackbox Jackbox game. Okay, okay. That, you know, you bring to the table when you're with your homies. You know, I want uh, the album cover hypothetically to be us. At a barbecue, all dressed in random costumes, like somebody in like a banana, somebody in an astronaut. I see some nodding heads. See, I see Jack. Okay, back so there's there. some agreement. There's some agreement. Um, but you know, well, well, we could have a deeper meaning. Uh, you know, sometimes you know, simple is best. And, you know, uh, so a bunch of costumes at a barbecue, simple. Yeah, yeah. It's very, costumes. very simple. One of the costumes he brought up was a banana costume. Yeah, and well, I mean, that's I'm, gonna happen. That's one of the stages, going. and it adds variety. You know, so I think, sure. I think it's a good, a good pick. So Jackbox minus like the really weird answers. Yes, exactly. Gotcha. Uh-huh. <laughs> I propose piggybacking off of Troy. That's a great name. Um, <laughs> just, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, just, just the, just the letter U. 
with the two ooh, dots, you know what I'm saying? Ooh. You know the German you or Give it a like little, like, ooh, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, ooh, like a, ooh. No. Yeah. Like, with, like, dots around, on top. But like I think a Justin that's, Bieber, like, oh, what do, what do uh, you mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. Or, like, Ed Sheeran, like, a one one character title. Yeah, yeah. I see. Yeah. I, mean, I, would, I like Damn, that. Damn, he's yeah. on that deep, introspective shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's open to interpretation, so. All right. That'd be cool. Bars. So, only time will tell what the album is named, what the album... Um, what the track list is when the lawyers get back to us. Um, but we do know that Wing 7 is next, and that is Jack, Logan, and Matt. All right. So we're here. Troy, you want to start serving these yeah. wings up? Um, wing number seven is from La Pimentary, Forbidden Fruit. Um, again, not liking the color of this. Way too, like, pure it's deep nice red. red. I like it. It doesn't look bad on the wing. I don't know. Um, so we got uh, Logan here. We also got Jack and Matt. Everyone say hi. Hey. And uh, let's do this thing. Please don't. No, thank you. I'm fine. All right. I can tell it's going to be hot. Ooh. Oh, fudge. Oh. All right. <coughs> Jack is going to town on that thing, man. He She's likes the flavor. So good. He's going to be paying for it in about, oh, man, a minute. <coughs> nah, All right. Nah. So the question here for, for Wing 7, for you three, um, it's no secret that acapella romances are very common sometimes between groups, but it's, it's, it's hard to not be swept off your feet when someone's, you know, in front of you singing. Maybe you're like sitting in the audience or, you know, you're, you're singing and you, you have your eye on someone. Um, I actually met my wife at an AP concert. Um, I know a lot of people in my, my group, my era, have like similar stories about their wives and their partners. Um, so my question here, I believe all of you have siblings, is that correct? Yes. Yeah. All right. So we're going to do like a like a, an elimination thing here. So when Logan chooses one, Jack can't choose that person. Okay. So if you had to set your sibling up on a blind date with someone from the current group, who would you pick and why? Oh, in a in a in a theoretical world oh, where right. everyone's well, attracted to everyone. Mm, I'm going to I'm going to start David. David. Yeah. David, why? Is it the hair? He's just, he's a very he's a very responsible young man. He's he's very uh have you been in a car with him? Okay. <laughs> you know, he's a, he's a very uh, morally upstanding young man. Uh, you know, home home by 10. Damn, <laughs> damn. Kiss on the cheek at, at, that's, at, that's on the I'm porch. Saying, exactly. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so Jack, now that David's not available. All right, David's not available. Let's see. John's giving me a look like he really wants me to say him. It's not going to be him, though. Um, Understandable. Um, I was going to joke and say Scott. No. Oh. That would just be really funny. <laughs> Uh, no, I think I have to go with, uh, I have to go with Quincy because Quincy. if it's my sister, then I think he would treat her right because I see the way he treats, uh, oh, Jesus. Oh, <laughs> no. Emily is no, no, Emily, Emily. The sentiment um, is there. <laughs> um, and you know, I think, uh, I think he'd treat her right. If it was my brother, I think they'd play video games together. <laughs> so so either way either, either way, way it's a win-win gotcha gotcha and matt you've had some time to think all right so i would know for my sister she specifically always hates the friends that i have just simply because they're in relation with me so let's start with people that i think she wouldn't date okay. oh jeez uh, not you oh, oh my. i was going to john that was john uh no shade probably not on john probably not scott probably not Alec, probably not Troy. Contenders? Contenders. Pro probably either Hassani or I'd say Jacob. I think, I think. Damn. Those are the only things I could think of, really. Side note, can you all feel your hands and lips? I'm chilling. <laughs> I'm chilling. Dude. I'm being really brave about it. This yeah. one is really hot. Yeah. It's <laughs> pretty good. Well, thank you for, for those uh, questions. I'm sure we have a lot to think about in terms of who you cho chose or didn't choose. <laughs> Wing 8 is up next, and I am not excited, but I am excited to, to be joined by John here for Da Bomb Evolution. So thank you, folks. Da Bomb. Woo! All right, we have arrives here at Wing 8. I have John here, uh, Mano y Mano on Wing number 8, the infamous Da Bomb. I would say thank you, Troy, but I'm not. I don't really want to say that. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Um, they look great. Does not smell great. Um, so, John, before we get into this wing, let's talk a little bit before it impedes our ability to do so. Um, I don't think anyone would disagree that, disagree that you are an icon 
Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if it's if it's the hair, mm-hmm. the sense of style, the sense of humor. Mm-hmm. Personally, I think it's like the 40 page Google Doc you made about how to make 8 Beat successful on social media. Uh-huh. That's pretty great. Mm-hmm. Uh, one thing he is known for is his hot takes. Uh, personally, I have heard him say that DC is in Virginia, which is factually incorrect, folks. Um, I have also heard him say that pasta is mid, which is also factually incorrect. <laughs> Um, so let's dig in here. Let's dig in here and give you a little time to ruminate. We both did two bites there. I don't know if we'll have to regret that. <laughs> uh, I just tried to swallow it like quickly. <laughs> Darn, man. This is the 2% milk. Sell by today. So... <laughs> We'll see. Oh man, that's actually okay. It's growing, but the t- the flavor was better than I thought. I've heard like the on the actual show them say it tastes like dirt. You good? Sorry, I gotta power through this. Bro. All right. So so now that you've had the hottest wing so far, why don't you give us your hottest take? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I'm getting it too. It's like under my tongue. It's in my teeth. <laughs> Okay. How does oh, the U.S. should conquer Canada. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. I, uh, uh, I've said for the longest time that Canada is like pretty irrelevant, Damn. except they have like a lot of oil. Wow. And so, Are you an oil baron? I'm not an oil baron. But like, yeah. they got oil. <laughs> you know what I mean? You don't think they want to keep that? I, I think they do, but like, who's gonna stop us? Them? You know, I the don't world? think. I think the world would stand by and let it slide. I think everybody's got beef with Canada. Okay. For what? They don't do anything. <sighs> exactly. <laughs> I want to make conversation, but I, I, don't, I can't think. Oh, I just think we take Canada and then, you know. They can be like their own, they can be like the 51st state, but they just, like, they pay taxes to us, you know. Take Canada. After that, I'll try soup for the first time. So you're telling us live on air you've never tried soup? I've never tried soup. I never plan on trying soup. I think I've seen you eat ramen, though. That isn't, that's ramen. I don't know, I think, soup, dog. if we're going to break it down, I think ramen is like almost both pasta and soup. <laughs> that explains why. I, that, that explains why it was bad. <laughs> all right, all right. Both of those things. And you want to touch on the the? Oh, I'll touch my eye real quick. The DC is in Virginia one. You want to just explain your level of uh, sixth grade social studies? Um, I'm sure we've all listened to Hamilton, oh, the nah. musical before. Sure. Right. Um, and you know, in the song, the room where it happens with Aaron Burr singing, you know, they agree. To put the capital in Virginia, because Thomas Jefferson, you know, is representing, right? And we all know, oh my God, <laughs> we all know Hamilton is a completely accurate historical 100%. source, right? So Tom Jefferson had an afro and everything. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> none of them were tone deaf. Yeah. None of them were tone- yeah, they all rapped. <laughs> too. Famously. Um, yeah, just... It all adds up. I mean, I, I really think that, that you know, why, why would they say, let's put it in Maryland? No, nothing good comes from Maryland. I agree there. You know, I agree there from someone who lives You know, how about Virginia. we get rid of Maryland and then just make Canada the 50th state? You know, get rid of Mar- Maryland completely. Get rid of their drivers especially. And just do our thing. You Amen. know what I mean? Amen on that. I know. Amen. I know. But yeah, no, it's just anybody who says it's in Maryland, anybody who says it's its own. It's its own thing. It, oh, <laughs> Oh boy, <laughs> do you have a lot to learn? <laughs> sure. And maybe we'll get there after this. But once I can uh, think straight again, John, what do you think? What do you think of this wing? I loved it. <laughs> I thought it was really refreshing. Ooh. Refreshing. Yeah. I thought cool. it was like drinking a nice bottle of yeah. Fiji water. You know. Does anyone out there have any um, famous John hot takes that they want to share? I, feel like just, I just want to keep ragging on pasta as mid. Like, you're just wrong. It's so yeah. bad. <laughs> as someone who is, yeah. Just make bad pasta. It's just mid, dude. It's just noodles. Just, just Italian Which are good. In Italian food also, it's just not good. What? Stop, <laughs> dude. What? what? It's, this video. it's all the same thing. <laughs> now that I'm starting to get the feeling back in my fingers and lips, let's move on to wing number nine. Thank you, John. 
Wing number nine is Scott and Jacob. Woo. All right, wing number nine. We are almost there, folks. I'm here with Scott and Jacob. Thank you, Troy. That is a good oh, you're looking so wing. Welcome. I mean, it looks kind of good. No, it definitely looks. Yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't being sarcastic. This is from a uh, Chili Monoloco, and it's called Mata Sanos, which I think means I think means clean kill. Oh man. So um, I guess let's eat it first and then do the questions. Why not? <sighs> Rest in peace. Oh, that's interesting. This oh, is darn. bad. I don't like this. That's, I don't like oh, the taste. No. It's got a carrot or something. Got like a courier taste. Oh, Lord. This is let like, me, this is the, like the worst wing I've had in my <laughs> life, bro. All right, oh. so Jacob, you've been, <coughs> you've been in the group for a while. <coughs> you had a few solos like we discussed earlier. Woo, but you were on co-op oh, yes, last semester in Ohio, I think. Sorry about that. Uh, so what did you miss most about 8 beat when you were on co-op um <sighs> just the community like i love uh like moments like this like i think oh it's gonna be really bad but then i eat this wing and think man i eat food like this all the time and it's not hot at all <sighs> so you're ready scott how are we doing here i feel like I'm being stabbed in my, you in want my some? mouth no i'll just take the water. water i don't know what to do oh that's not good yeah breathing is not but so you miss the the community <laughs> of 8 beat like going out to eat I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, I told you. you know, I'm so fine. Uh, yep. So, you've been in the group a while, too. Yep. And as the promo material for Last Concert famously said, we can't get rid of you yet. But, eventually, you will graduate. You will leave 8 beat. Hopefully. So, piggybacking on Jacob's answer of community, what do you think you will miss most going forward? I definitely think I'll miss all the different gigs that me and the group do all the time. It's always such a different experience going to meet and see all these different places, meet all these people, see all these different so places. Bad. Oh my God! <laughs> um, you know, every 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 different gig is an experience, and you know, it's it's so different when you have all these guys to experience it with. So I'm definitely gonna miss a sad aspect the most, and of course, being on stage, performing, letting everything out, and all that emotion that comes with it. Do you have a favorite gig you've done recently? Um, or in the past couple of years? I would have to say definitely Kevin's. It had to be. That mansion was so beautiful. Do you want to explain for our viewers what Kevin's is? Um, Kevin Serace. I don't know all of the facts because I don't pay attention that much. But um, I'm sure the LC could help me with that one. But it was a great gig. He let us come over and perform for, I believe it was a bunch of RIT um, top shelf people, you know. Um, so it was really good that we met him. It was great to sing there and stuff. Really good time. Also good food and good wine. Yeah, he's a, yes. he's a, uh, not famous, but he's like an important RIT alum, I know. Right? So it was good to have him around, I guess. Yes. Get some recognition for the AP brand. Whew! Oh my god. Do you have a favorite solo you've had over the years, Scott? Yes. Um. Right away with the answer. I would have to say, for certain, I think Blessed. Blessed is my favorite solo. That's gonna be my senior song when I leave here. Same. Um, it's not the craziest solo in terms of voice, but it's definitely the most meaningful. It has the most meaningful lyrics to me, and I love singing that song. It's awesome. My face is starting to numb up. My, For I sure. I'm losing movement in my lips. We'll, we'll do it together, man. Jacob's over here, meanwhile, crushing it. Well, no, I feel it. <laughs> yeah, but you're not crying. I feel like I'm crying. No, Was like, it intentional to put him with me? <laughs> yeah. All right, so 9 out of 10 down. Moving on to wing 10. Oh. Wing 10 is going to be everyone, so... Yeah, I'm going to feel that. Let's take a pause here. Reset the cameras, get everyone behind. Over here. Thank you, Troy. All right. Wing 10. We have made it to the summit here. Wing 10 is the last dab experience from Hot One. I think it's like 99% Pepper X, which is the hottest chili on earth. This question here is for everyone and as I speak my tongue is still on fire from those last couple but uh as is tradition here uh on hot ones to put a little bit extra on the hot one on the hot wing so be careful here everybody, everybody grab a wing everybody grab, everybody a, wing. grab a wing and put a little bit on right. as we eat this wing on three we're gonna eat the wing You're but then we're gonna shot. go around and we'll start with Jack yeah. and everyone's gonna name rapid fire their favorite eight beat song past present or future real quick so everyone enjoy Cheers, y'all. Okay. Oh, uh, light work, no reaction. Shut the fuck up, Joe. Why is it actually tasting good, though? Oh, it's 
Troy, Wait, let the record show Troy at that whole way. All right, Jack. Okay. I'm already being paid to tell. Jack, what's your favorite AP song? Mm. You want to get into the mic too? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Hold on. Give me a minute. This is the beginning. Yeah, my good. favorite AP song is Make It Better. This one is. Oh, I have a Make It Better. Yeah. Oh. Alec, let's go. Hold on, we're going home. It, Ooh. Pick it up. A throwback. Uh. Are we doing the ones for Is it a cop out? Is it a cop out to say in 2022 ICCA set? The nope. whole set? No, that's fair. That's what fair. What songs were in the set? Uh, Eleonora by Yours Truly. Enemy uh, by Corral. Uh, <laughs> Come on, Napkins. Um. <laughs> What's it called? Hit the ceiling. 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 Hand of God. I'm gonna go back God. for a second bite. <laughs> no, you're not. Brain slowing down. You're not. I know I'll do it. Oh, keep going. Oh, go. Keep going. 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 This is what heartbreak feels like. From RCCA Just right. Hollow on identity. David says hollow. Threatened on identity. Oh, identity. Another identity. Easily evil. Oh, my God. Naked. Naked. Shut up! Shut up! Uh, grow up! Oh my god! Grow up! <laughs> Logan? <laughs> Jacob? Threatened! I'm threatened! The Tyler mashup. Part two, pending. Jacob says, come back for me. Who is that? I should not have taken a second bite. I've heard another one. I've heard another one. Alright, um, I think yeah, my very happy song. Oh, oh, fuck. Logan's going probably, again. Probably come back for me. Maybe, uh. <laughs> oh. no, Logan's going again. again. All right. My favorite AP song happens to be Sunday Candy. And I've heard, I've heard that they're going to sing it for us. All right. Three, four. Who? Who? Tap out, everyone good? Yeah. Yeah. Woo. Tapping out. My, tapping out. Jacob and Alec. I saw it, bro. All right, so now it's time to reveal John's uh, guesses from the beginning. Whoo, that's hot. John guessed that Logan would finish it. And not only did Logan finish it, I think he had a second last wing. 
I didn't drink any water. You didn't drink any I water, Jesus. Oh, the man is a champion. Okay, who do you think you would tap out? And he thought that Matt would tap out. <laughs> Where is he? He's over here. <laughs> so good news for you guys. I'm still going to make that donation because you guys are such champs. <laughs> that, sounded, that sounded so good. Way better than I expected it after this hot sauce experience. Whew. So you killed it. You got to the summit of the mountain. You... Ran the gauntlet, did everything. Very proud of you guys. Ooh, it's hot still. As they say on the show, where's John, <coughs> Mr. President over here? This camera, and this camera, this camera, this camera. Why don't you let the world know what AP's got coming up? We've got a big album. We've got a concert coming up. Chill Beats planned for April 13th. It's going to be a wonderful time, a wonderful experience. This album expected to drop <laughs> during the holiday season. Dude. You know, the link going to be in our bio. You know, go to it, run to it, flock to it, tell your friends, tell your family. Um, and we just hope that you'll love us and that you'll enjoy our music. Beautifully right. said. Beautifully said. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> Woo! Thanks, Jack. Everyone have fun? Yeah. Yeah. That's one word for it. <laughs> I think I'm like burping it back up. Uh, yeah. Just like, just like hitting me again. Whoa. The bloopers video will be out later. <laughs>